Hey, onlineers, the last lab. That's right. We'll just do a real quick, simple one that you probably did in eighth grade. And I actually stole it from your book. It's just a sample problem, Archimedes' principle. So let's, uh, let me show you what, I, what I'm thinking. The one thing I wish that I put in the kit that I didn't was kind of a plastic 600-milliliter uh, uh, beaker. I don't have it, and I didn't put it in there. So here's what you need. You need to uh, look around your house for one of those... Um, those uh, mixing bowl thingers. Uh, I don't know what they're even called, but they're like a big Pyrex cup that looks just like a beaker, except it's probably got a handle on it. And on one side, it probably has cups, and on the other side, hopefully, you have milliliters. You need some way of figuring out the volume of this thing. If you can't find the volume of this thing, you know what you got to do? You have to estimate it by cylinder. Weird little section here another cylinder so you'd have to use string go all the way around and figure out the volume by actually figuring out the shape subtract the estimated piece right over here from the total cylinder and then add the little bit of cone over here like this and then add this much little cylindrical amount boy would that be difficult but if you can find some kind of mixing cup with uh, milliliters on the side that would be really cool because here's what you do you um, fill this thing up uh, enough with water so that the entire thing is submerged into the thing um, for me there's a couple ways you can do this you could fill it up to the very very top to the very very rim and then collect the water that spills out if you do have a spout on a mixing cup or something you could just collect the water that that comes out when you completely submerge the mass into the water and then collect that water and then put it in another measuring device uh, or another uh, cup smaller maybe with milliliters on the side and figure out the volume of the water that spilled out it's got to be right up to the rim where it's just like just basically almost dripping out and then collect the water that's coming out. That would be the volume of the irregular shape. That's the most clever way of doing it. Um, it sure is a lot easier than figuring out the volume of, uh, of this mass by just looking at its shape and trying to do the uh, volume of a cylinder minus the piece, volume of this minus that. That'd be, that'd be something. Okay, So give it a try with um, Archimedes' way, which would be displacement. Okay, lab is really simple. Look at this. This thing, you probably know what this is going to weigh on planet Earth, right? It's going to weigh, uh, what do you got, about 9.8 newtons. What a big surprise, 9.8 newtons uh, in normal air because the buoyancy force of air is so negligible because of the pressure of the air and the density of the air. It's nothing, okay? But you drop this in water, and while it is submerged in the water, it reads a smaller number. And that smaller number is interesting because there's another force acting on here. Besides tension and mg, now we have buoyancy force pulling up. So the tension's less because the buoyancy force is now present. And the difference in the reading would be the buoyancy force. And the buoyancy force is the weight of the fluid that was displaced. So if you know the density of water, if you don't have to use water, you want to have some fun, use oil or some other stuff hanging around your house, canola oil or uh, corn syrup, maybe you'd have a blast doing that, then you'd see a really big difference in the stuff. So the weight of the water or the fluid that's displaced will be the difference between the two scale readings. And from that, in Archimedes' principle, in the example in that chapter on fluids, you should be able to figure out the density of this object. And the density of this object, you don't have to use this, by the way, but this one I know the answer to, which would be really kind of cool. Uh, the density of that object, um, you could go on a chart, go online, and tell me what this is made out of, based on just Archimedes' principle, figuring that stuff out. So it's just a simple little reminder of what Archimedes did a long, long time ago, 200 B.C., and uh, what you probably did in third grade.
So uh, have some fun with it. Uh, try different things, you know. Try different fluids to put it in. Uh, like I said, if you got enough corn syrup laying around, that'd be really kind of neat. Um, and try different irregular objects, something that you don't mind getting wet. All right. So just have some fun with it and uh, write me up something so I know that you really understand Archimedes' principle. Take some good data, maybe uh, two or three different objects. Give it a shot. Have fun.